Hey everybody, welcome to the Backyard Pest Control Show. I'm your host, Si, and today's episode, we're going to talk about the rifles that I use for uh, pest control in my yard. <laughs> about the Red Rider um, Daisy. Um, I bought this gun again thinking that uh, I was going to uh, be able to kill a raccoon with it but uh, my neighbor had a raccoon um, nest in his shed and uh, I took this over there thinking that I was going to get it out and uh, I couldn't. I couldn't kill it with it. Uh, I wasn't even able to uh, penetrate uh, the baby she had with it to try to, you know, just eliminate the piss that we have here because it's very bad. And um, so this is my first rifle. So let me tell you what you can kill with this rifle here. And basically, I, I'm going to give it birds. I'm going to say, yeah, you can kill birds with a daisy rider. Um, I don't believe uh, you can kill a squirrel with it. Uh, I never tried, but I don't believe you can. And But it's good for rodents and rats. It's perfect, uh, especially if they're like mice. And, you know, they're not the big kind. And they're like, you know, the mice, you know, like what you see on the farm. Um, if it's not like super huge, you kill them all day, most of the time. <clears throat> and also what I like about this uh, gun is I can hunt at night in my backyard without hearing a whole bunch of pops and stuff. This right here, you know, is spring operated. And so uh, you, uh, it's not a big boom, it's a zip. And it, it's perfect for, uh, you know, rat hunting at night. And that's the perfect time for rats because that's when they want to move around. So I hunt rats with this. So you will see me with videos uh, eliminating uh, and dispatching rodents with this gun. So this is my first one. Second, the Daisy 880. You see me smiling. Because this this gun right here does it, you know, when it comes to squirrels and birds and stuff like that. You know, I've never tried to use it on a raccoon. And I you don't know the reason why in a minute. And uh, but uh when it comes to birds and rats, this boy here. It is, it is, it's accurate. It's old school, but got a new school feel to it. You know, it's a little bit more plastic on the side. It's a pellet gun. You can put BBs, a whole bunch of BBs in it. And uh, I believe in pellets when it comes to rifles. So I'm glad that this is a, a pellet gun, you know, single shot. And uh, that's a, this is one of my guns that I hunt with when I want squirrels or, or birds or, you know, ground squirrels. We have a lot of ground squirrels here in Colorado. They have come uh, from Highway 85 all the way over here. And uh, you got to get rid of them because they'll start digging holes in the ground. Especially like me, I have, I grew carrots and stuff like that. So I had to make sure that I don't have no ground squirrels. Or nothing that molds or nothing like that in my yard. <clears throat> but this is a great gun. It's a great, great gun, you know, for squirrels and birds. All right. Now, 
This boy here, the F4, this is my gun. This gun here, the Crossman F4, this this is not gonna anything you pretty much want when it comes to small game. I mean, you know, they have multiple uh, Crossman rifles and, you know, more expensive and more, um, you know, more powerful. But me, like I say, I'm a backyard um, pest control. So uh, this is the best thing I, I would ever need for my yard. It's accurate. Uh, this is not the, uh, the scope we come with. The scope we come with didn't have a, uh, didn't have a, look like I got it. The scope that it came with didn't come with the brackets to, to lock it on, so I ended up using my daisy. And A D scope. But it's still pretty goddamn good, you know. Uh, accurate uh kills raccoons or uh, anything. Hey, it probably kill uh deer. You know, if I hit them right I hit them with the right type of stuff. So I'm not quoting that, but I I believe it's powerful enough because uh what gave me the idea of getting this gun was uh, Miami. Uh, <clears throat> you know, guys down there hunting iguanas, something that I would always, I would love to do. And um, so I seen that guy was taking out iguanas with this, so I feel like iguana head probably is pretty hard. You know, I know raccoon head is is kind of close to a you know skull, but. Uh, you know, uh, those iguanas is probably pretty tough too. So, this the reason I got the gun because I seen guys in Miami hunting uh, iguanas. And once I got it, I never want another. Uh, I'm not gonna lie and say I'm never want another gun, <laughs> but I'm gonna say that uh, I don't need nothing else. The next uh, gun that I would ever uh, advertise. Um, next would be the Crossman ST1. And then if you don't know what the Crossman ST1 is, uh, it's pretty much like a Call of Duty gun. Um, it's black and white, like 300 or 400 shots. You can do a single leak or you can, you know, automatic. I think it's single, uh, semi and automatic, if I'm not mistaken. And, um, you can turn it into a rifle. Or you can, or you can use it as a pistol. So uh, that'll be my next gun, and that'll probably be our next video when it comes to new guns. Like I said, this is not a gun show. This is just what I use and what I think is great for me and the pest control in my house. All right, guys. Until next time.